journalist is not only a good writer, but also a very good source of communication. Someone who we, we can rely on for facts and stories concerning Ghana and all around the world. So today I'm with a very creditable journalist, goes by the name of Mr. Francis from the Daily Guide newspaper. Welcome to the Weekly Ambition. Thank you. How's everything going today? I'm good. Hope all right, cool. Too. I want to know, when did journalism become your ambition? <sighs> I would say after school. Growing up, I wanted to become a footballer. So wait, hold on, hold on. You wanted to become a footballer? <laughs> of course. A footballer, like a black star player. Yeah, I probably would have been playing with the stars now. Aside football, I had a thing for show business. Of uh, course. Precisely TV. I like the way people present on TV mm -hmm. and do their thing. Uh, but so somehow, somehow, I found myself writing for a newspaper too. But did you ever and, aspire and to be a presenter on TV? Come again? Did you ever aspire to be a presenter on TV? I, I, I have the ambition, but I, I've never tried it. Okay, okay. Maybe you will inspire me to. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will take over for you. Okay, no worries. Yeah. This is my co-host for today. So, <laughs> so how long have you worked with the Daily Guard newspaper? Um, I started somewhere 2006, so let's wow. say uh, so seven, six years. I yeah, guess. yeah. So how did you get your start? How did you? It's a big, it's a big company. A lot of people wish to be here, but how did you be so fortunate to be here? Um, after school, my my, I contacted one of my lecturers who knew somebody here, and they they gave me a chance okay. to, to do my attachments. Yeah, and then from there, uh, I was given an opportunity to work. Uh, so from your attachment up to till now. That's what I call hard work and dedication right there. Your boss just decides one day, you know what? You work so hard for us, more than 12 years here. I'm gonna give you a car. What type of car would you choose? <laughs> I thought you you probably take me to uh, uh, a flight level. I said, you know, I I I I wish to have it like um. My, my 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 private jet or something. Private jet, <laughs> G5. <laughs> Keeping on the private jet issue, yeah. where would you take your private jet for a dream vacation? Oh, I've heard a lot about Bahamas. I've not been there before, and I really wish to uh, travel to that place and experience the place. I understand the, the uh, there's a lot of islands there. Hey. Uh, I, I want to experience you, Bahamas. You want to go visit some type of Rihanna? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tropical guy right here, uh, up and coming journalists and bloggers in the game right now. But for those who haven't took that first leap yet, any advice for them? Any words of encouragement that you'd like to give them right now? I think you, you should first have the passion for it. If you don't have the passion for it, you, you, you wouldn't be able to attain the level you want to attain, attain in that particular Yeah, of area. course. So you just have the passion for it, focus. And work hard. Yeah, I think I think that, that that should be what anybody at all that wants to enter into this career should as well. And read, read. Of course, read. you can't be a journalist if you don't read. And before we get out of here, I just want to say a big, big, big happy birthday to the birthday boy right here. <laughs> how old? How old? How old? Oh come on! You want me to put this out there? Ah, you got a little exclusive for X Live. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Francis Ado, I say thank you for sharing your ambition with us. And that was his weekly ambition. Now, it's up to you at home on Twitter. Hit us up at xlivegh and tell us this week, what is your ambition? Once again, they call me Nileon. And please never forget, excel, be excellent with XLive. <laughs>